This scheme has been set up to offer composers an opportunity not only to develop their practice within the context of a composition department in a conservatoire, within a research context, but also to give them real experience of the realities of opera making inside a big international opera company like the Royal Opera House. The difficulty, the challenge about opera for composers is getting that experience because in a way you have to learn on the job, you have to assimilate lots of the realities of the context of opera making and balance that against your own creative imagination. To be composer in residence at the Royal Opera House really means that you have the opportunity to be totally immersed in the opera making within this building, um, through all, all parts of the process, um, working very closely with the producers, working with the, um, the music staff, um, the opportunity to sit and observe um, rehearsals on both the main stage um, and the Limbo production, particularly when we're developing new works. So it's an opportunity really to get a sense of the, um, the living and breathing fabric of the building. The huge advantage of partnering with the, with the Guildhall on, on the creation of this new opera is the ability to work with the other students and other departments um, at the Guildhall, um, from, from technical theatre departments, the musicians, singers, other actors, um, to really begin to test ideas at all stages of the development um, of the work, which means that by the time you get to the end goal, you've got to the performance, we really know what this, this piece is, it's been developed rigorously and actually that really helps to create a work that will have a, have a life and a legacy beyond its first run of performance. The Composer in Residence scheme is for composers who define what opera is in the 21st century. As they're doing it, they're exploring some question about the form or its audiences um, in the contemporary context. It's important to say that on this scheme we're not really looking for one kind of opera. We've had quite diverse responses, beginning with Philip Venable's immensely successful treatment of Sarah Kane's 448 Psychosis to Narmasissa's opera Mamza that brought cantorial singing into the world of opera. The composer in residence uh, will have a home at the Royal Opera House um, and across here at the Guildhall and when they're here at the Guildhall they're embedded in an academic community. We've got about 50 doctoral researchers pursuing projects in the range of subjects in relation to music and drama and their regular events, opportunities to present to each other um, and to share your research um, in novel ways. What's amazing at Guildhall is you get the kind of cross-pollinations that happen just amongst conversations about your work and, and you do need people to talk to about that because um, you find so much richness in, in people's research regardless of subject matter, you know, the way that people can put across their ideas and are willing to discuss them is always so fruitful whether you're talking to someone of a, in a similar field to yourself or not. I've been involved with delivering this programme for the past six, seven years and it's been a real privilege to watch composers develop in an incredible way through this assimilation of reflective practice within the conservatoire but practical experience within an opera house. Thinking about where I am now to, to when I first started this, the, the, kind, of, the kind of growth and um, progress that I've made in terms of being capable of unifying research and practice and understanding what that means in my own practice has, has come on so, so much because of the way the infrastructure is set up here for us.